Have you felt like an outsider? Sometimes you don't really feel that you belong to any specific group and although you are a part of the group, they don't really understand you. Have you felt lonely when you were in a group, although there were many people around you and still you felt lonely and because you don't connect with others and you don't feel really being understood? Have you felt scared of losing your friend and you get the feeling of loss? These things can happen with everybody. Let's see what happens to Rumi. And I will read a couple of his uh, verses uh, from his poem. And yeah, I will interpret it. So he says, Man bahar jamiyati nalan shodam, joftent badhalan o khushhalan shodam. So he decides to get involved in many groups in order to share how he feels about longing and spirituality, longing uh, about like his connection to the spiritual source and like missing that. So he was trying to achieve uh, uh, like a little bit of happiness by being connected to others who probably feel the same way. So in that sense, he befriended or got close to people uh, from different groups and some of them like they were bad hall which means that they were not unhappy and some of them were happy so generally uh, when you refer to somebody in a spiritual sense to somebody who's who's not really happy or people uh, these are people generally who are not really feeling connected to the spiritual source and they have a lot of ego a lot of con con uh, conversation in their head worrying them aloud, uh, about things and not you know and these conversation and these ego things that happen in, in their head is not really going to make them really happy so imagine that you are you kind of want to be closer to your spirituality you want to get rid of ego you become a friend of a, gr um, f uh, a, gr a few groups of people and then uh, you realize that some of them actually are uh, happy and some of them are not happy generally connected a little bit to the spirituality or not so the next he says that har kasi az zann khod shod yar man az darun man najast asrar man which means that during all of his friendship anybody wanted to be connected to him through his in, their intention and their agenda and they didn't really want to get to know where he's coming from and although this happened hundreds of years ago we can identify with that we enter different group of friendships we make different friends but we realize that everybody has their own intention there the connection is not as much and that can potentially ha harm us but what can we do in order to sort of uh, not get into that trap. So one of the most important thing we can do is to firstly grow a little bit, like grow our personality, to realize, to kind of recognize what people want, who they are, getting to know people through their actions, their behavior, and try to be kind of a better uh, read and kind of uh, judgment of some people's uh, intention and you can do that by uh, sort of asking yourself why uh, people are doing what they're doing or what they why they say what they're doing not really getting ourselves very involved in the context that they are talking about for example if somebody uh, always is complaining about her friends his colleagues and he has or she has problems with many many people so sometimes we can get uh, caught in the content of what they're talking about and when you get caught in the content you don't know what's happening in a big picture so in a big picture there can be people who are generally complainer or just generally negative about life so through that lens you can actually get to know what people like uh, to what extent they are being driven by their ego. 
some people's ego is worrying some people some people's ego is always thinking that they are victim of some situation so you get close to these people who are generally kind of gelled by their uh, thoughts so what's going to happen to you is that you're going to listen to this conversation and you do not feel connected because if you are a bit different if you have different goals in life if if you don't really get caught up in a conversation in your head about um, why my friend said this why this person does this why this person drives like that if you want to grow a little bit further and you are friend with those people you don't really feel connection with them and they don't feel connection with you either right so what is the best uh, strategy that you can say so in the second verses he says that her kasi az zan khod shad yar man az darun man na just asrar man so they became friend with me and in that time probably they have this, they had different agenda for example rumi wanted to talk about his spirituality and being connected to the source and getting the love and enjoyment whereas those other people's aim and goal maybe was to uh, to show off their uh, to their friends that maybe we are more closer to the god or like we are um, we have we are friend with this guy who is famous etc so everybody had different intention right and so when you bring that Uh, to the context of this day-to-day life, when we are also friends with people, they are also being friends with us for some reasons. Because usually, they feel that they, we are facilitating something in their life. Uh, maybe we are a bit generous with our money, or with our time, or with our ears listening to their problems. So the aim of their friendship just becomes kind of. Uh, connected to something that you provide them, and maybe these things that does not necessarily give you fulfillment in your life. So, therefore, what we probably need to do here is to kind of get connected to people who are on the same path with us. So, if your path is, for example, financial success, and somebody else is also financially successful. more or less than you will better more than less you can kind of be friends with them and because you both have the same goal in your life it can make you get closer to each other and uh, be able for you to learn some ethical strategies to increase your wealth for example or if you want to even become more spiritual you can be connected to somebody or befriend somebody or a group of people who they find spirituality very rewarding and their aim is to kind of get over all these egoic thoughts and wants to be happy and wants to be enlightened right. so therefore it's very important when you grow a little bit more seeing uh, being connected to people who are at least in the same path not necessarily being exactly the same as you because that probably is not possible but somebody who wants to get to your goal to where you want to go and you you have a journey together so for rumi when he he talks about more positive and more happy people he probably is talking about people who were on their spiritual journey and they weren't worried about uh, their ego and their thoughts and these random thoughts that comes to everybody's head So, therefore, a lesson I think from this uh, that we can have is to recognize that when we are uh, having many friends and we are a part of many different groups, they all can have different personality, different kind of structure in the friendship, etc. And the ones, and in order not to feel lonely or feel lost, etc. So what we could do is to see how we can align ourselves to those people for a higher purpose, for more positivity. Even if uh, you are friend with some, like a group of people who are just fun, you can see that can have a good contribution to to your life. And generally, with having that in mind, just having. A better week because of being in touch with them. If you wanted to be more financially successful, maybe you just become friend with somebody who, or or a group of people who are financially successful, so their will can influence you 
in that sense, the feeling of loneliness will be less because their agenda to join you and be a part of uh, and, and make the, the group, make you a part of their group or uh, being friends with you is kind of aligned with your goal. Whereas in the room is time, his goal was pure say, uh, spirituality and uh, some people did not have that goal. Some people just were after egoistic goals and there was a clash and they didn't even understand them. So in order to feel better understood, we better improve the way that we can actually get to know people. We can uh, understand where people are coming from, what their goal and aspiration is, and whether these people are good people to be in our lives. So, but at the end of this video, I want to give you a task. Maybe the next time that you are talking to a friend or trying to make a new friend, ask yourself how some of your goals can align with their higher goals and try to make these goals really positive. Don't make the goal of how can I be a friend of these people because we want to gossip about them and go through this negativity rabbit hole. No, not that. Just see if... Um, your higher purpose and higher goal is aligned with uh, the same goal of other people or other group of uh, group, groups of people. And what happened when you join that uh, force with you and some people who have the same goal as you, you don't feel misunderstood and you don't feel that there, there will be a high uh, chance of losing those friends. And you wouldn't also feel misunderstood because you are uh, on the same path with them. Thanks very much for uh, listening to this video and I hope to see you soon.